G'day Tubers, welcome back. So it's been about 10 days, I guess, since I've had this 3D printer and I'm absolutely loving it. Now I've got PLA in it rather than the ABS filament. That was a, you know, bad research thing on my behalf. It's time for some upgrades. That's the whole point of this video. And I've done some upgrades. Well, I've bought some upgrades and done some upgrades. So I've actually taken the time to print some stuff out. I've just gone on to Thingiverse and downloaded some STLs. Now I've got the Ender 3. That is the little fan cover that goes down here. I've printed out bezel for around the screen, and I think they're actually Minecraft parts, but I filled up some space with that. Now this one here, we've got a new tray here, so it's red, so it matches. You know, you need a matches. We've got the little uh, mount and the extra bit. The mount that goes up here, can we see that on camera? It'll go up there somewhere to actually hold the PLA out and make sure it doesn't get tangled up and give it an easier route. And we've got a couple of other little things that actually routes the, the PLA into the extruder and the end bit there. So there's some little, little upgrades there that I printed out. I've also ordered some other stuff and I haven't actually opened this, so I don't know what it is. There we go. So it is a new hot end extruder thing for the top. I don't know actually what it's called. It might tell me. Red metal extrusion mechanism. And these are all genuine parts from the Ender. Who is it? Creativity? Creativ creativity um, company. So that'll go on there. So that upgrades from the plastic to an aluminium. That's supposed to give you a lot better prints as well. But more so with the ABS, not the PLA. And I've also got the glass bed was ordered when I was getting very frustrated with the ABS not printing and not understanding it enough, but apparently it's still a really good upgrade. So I'm going to do that anyway. Comes very well packaged. I'll try to do this on camera without screwing it up and dropping it and breaking it. There we go. Nice sexy black. Transparent. Now, oh, I like that. Let's try that straight on. Must come up that way. Actually, a genuine part. Take the clips off. I'm wondering if those clips are even actually fit the new bed. Out the old. In with the new. No, the clips don't really fit real well. Uh, it doesn't matter. There should be some clips in the box. There is no clips in the box. So they supply a new bed without a way of fixing it down. Without a doubt, the least fun job of any 3D printing is cleaning everything up. There must be a trick to this. Do you warm it up? If anybody knows a trick to doing this, let me know. Get my heat gun out, see if it warming it up helps. It smells good, that's for sure. Maybe a bit too hot. Okay, so warming it up is not the good, very good trick. It's actually weakening the bottom. Okay, I think with that one I made it a lot harder than what it really was by trying to take down one too many layers. Yeah, number one. Number two upgrade. Shouldn't be too difficult. One number three.
Or screws just pop off the back. Cover slides on, replace all the screws. Yeah, replace the cable. And replace the screws. Pop the fourth one on. I don't get it. 50 extra cents, you could have included some extra bloody clips. Guys, why they can't supply clips with this bed is beyond me, but this bed is much better than the, the stock one that was produced with. If anybody could tell me what's going on here, that would be nice. Now, I did have a problem last night with the actual um, the filament being tangled up, and I had to take it off the roll, so maybe it was all the oil off my fingers on the, on the filament that caused this problem, but there we go, tubers. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.